Hello, today I am going to discuss about the loop calibrator, source mode, read mode, and simulate mode. What is a loop calibrator? Okay, this is a loop calibrator. Sometimes people call it as signal calibrator. So loop calibrator or signal calibrator is just a calibrator usually used by instrumentation technician to inject a signal to the circuit or transmitter or controller for simulation or testing purpose. Okay, so there are three modes that we can set. Source mode, okay, read mode, and then simulate mode. What is source mode? Source mode is the mode that not only inject a signal, but also provide the power to power the whole loop. Whereas simulate mode is just a mode that inject a signal to the loop. However, it did not provide the power to power the loop. As for the read mode, which is sometimes called measurement mode, it just act like a normal multimeter for measurement. Okay, so let's study about this circuit. Now, this loop calibrator or signal calibrator switch is set to source mode. So since it is a source mode, it will act as an electrical source to provide the power to power up the whole loop circuit. Okay, so since this one acts as an electrical source, this IP transducer or current to pressure signal transducer will act as electrical load. Okay, so this loop calibrator or signal calibrator not only power up the whole loop, but also at the same time inject a signal. How about this circuit? Okay, if you study carefully, this signal calibrator or loop calibrator switch is set to read mode. Read mode is actually a measurement mode, which is not none other than a normal multimeter measurement mode. The multimeter that we use daily to measure the current voltage is actually is a read mode. Okay, it's the mode that we always use. So since we measure the 4 to 20 milliamp current in this circuit, so we connect this loop calibrator in series with the controller and the transmitter. Now this loop calibrator of course will act as an electrical load, okay? Since it is no different from normal multimeter, okay? So the power source must be provided by the transmitter or the controller or external power source. In this case, the controller will act as an electrical source to provide the power to power the whole loop here. How we know? Because you can see there is a wire connected to the positive V which stands for positive voltage source. This positive V is internally connected to a controller internal power source. That's why these two, this terminal here will act as an electrical source. Okay, so the power source from the, the controller, okay, internal power will power the whole loop here. Okay, so this transmitter and the signal calibrator here will act as electrical load. How about this circuit? Okay, this loop calibrator or signal calibrator switch is set to source mode. As I mentioned earlier, source mode will act as an electrical source. It will provide the power to power the whole loop. Okay, at the same time, it will inject a signal. Okay, so it's actually no different from four wire transmitter, right? So since this is an electrical source, the controller will act as an electrical loop. Okay, how about this one? If you see, if you study carefully, the signal calibrator or loop calibrator switch is set to simulate mode. Actually, simulate mode is opposite to source mode. If the source mode will make the loop calibrator become the electrical source, the simulate mode will make the loop calibrator become electrical load. Although it don't power up the whole circuit, 
but it will inject the inject a signal to the circuit. So the controller terminal will act as electrical source. How we know? Because this wire is connected to positive V, which is internally connected to controller internal power source. So this power source will power the whole loop here. Okay. So if you have any other question you want to ask or want me to share, please leave down a comment here. And if you want this drawing, you can just uh, leave a comment here. Please click like button and subscribe my video to support my effort. Thanks for everyone for support. Thanks.